I started to feel a lump. And so they took me upstairs after the ultrasound and the mammogram, and they did a core biopsy. You have invasive ductal carcinoma, breast cancer. And the doctor said, uh, it doesn't look good. I, I think it's cancer. We got the news initially that my mom had uh, cancer in May of 99. About a week later, they actually called me on the phone and said, you have breast cancer. It got to a point where um, we were told that she had about two years. It was like she was usually laying in bed trying to recover. Dad would take us to school and then we'd get picked up and mom would still be in bed. You're part of a club you never wanted to join. I was an active participant in my treatment. Um, these people are experts in cancer, but I'm the expert in my body. I know what feels right and wrong to me. If you think the doctors are not doing something right, demand that they do it. I am responsible for me, and the decisions that I make now will completely inform my future quality of life. And the things that they're going to do to you definitely affect your quality of life. It doesn't have to be a death sentence. No. You can beat it. Just like, don't worry, they'll get better. It might be scary now, but don't worry, it'll be better. You're, you have to walk this road alone, but or on your own, but you're never alone. I think that now with a lot of the education, the resources we have, through the foundation, women are beating it. And um, even though my mom didn't, to know that other women are beating it in her name is the greatest honor that we can have. Now it's about facing all of my fears. And to illustrate that, uh, this past Wednesday, I went skydiving. Make sure you live every moment to the fullest. Tell the people that you love that you do love them. And, and enjoy the life that you have and, and, and live in the moment. Don't keep thinking about other things and, yeah. and miss it. It's a life-changing experience for people once they're diagnosed and they see their life differently yeah. after their diagnosis. And they have people reach out to them and come to them that they never dreamed would. I hear these stories with uh, people have to go in for their um, appointments that just learned that they had cancer and they don't have anybody to go with them. Cindy has gone with these folks and held their hands, cried with them. I don't know how many foundations give that level of support, that real support. And that's where Cindy is different than anybody you'll ever meet. She gives it to each and every person. I, I try to give them the best life they can while they're here. I mean, that's, that's what I can do. I, I like that we have money to pay for tests that can save their lives. That, that's huge to me. Cindy met me after my treatment, met me at the pharmacy. The pharmacist says, well, that will be $200. And Cindy just handed him a credit card. I think people have this impression that, oh, if I can't donate a certain amount, then um, it, it's not gonna help. And that's not true. I mean, it, it is anything. It is anything. We're talking about people's lives. I think a lot of people discount what they can give. I mean, there are some people that think, well, $25 is not going to make a difference, you know, or, or that Starbucks coffee for five bucks. Yeah. It does make a difference. Every dollar makes a difference. And, and we can't fund these tests without, without money. Please, please, I, I hope everybody that has loved ones out there, by doing this, you're, you're, you're going to be helping somebody save somebody's life.